Cameron's good, he has a back, all good. Rory, Adi Rashid, go ahead. Ado, how, how pleased are the guys with the comprehensive nature of, of that game in, in both innings? Yeah, very pleased. Uh, we spoke about coming to this game. I thought, obviously, we needed a win and a comprehensive one. Uh, you know, we set the tone up front there with the ball. I thought Seamus, Joff, Woody, top of us, you know, set the zone there perfectly. Um, but no, I was very happy for us to get that win, how, how we did. You've had, a lot of, you've had a lot of time to think about this game. Uh, and, and, you know, was actually over, you've overturned the, the whole net run rate deficit now entirely. Mm. Was that something that you were realistically thinking was on the cards in one game? Um, first and foremost, we thought we have to win the game. We have to set ourselves, get into a position to think about that. We didn't really set ourselves from the beginning to do that. Uh, but we won the toss, we got the wickets, and that really set, set the tone for that, you know, to restrict them to 48. But then we went out to bat. If we, if we were just going to be positive, we knew we'd, we'd score the runs within the four or five hours, which we did. Do you think that the scale of this win has you know, sent a bit of a message that... This England team's up for it. <laughs> no, we're always up for it. We can't, you know, you, see, you can't every game get 50 runs, 60 runs in the first six and ball them out for 100. That's just T20 cricket. Some days you have a good day, some days not so good. But it's just about adapting to that and finding a way to win, whether it's from the last ball or within 10 over. So, like I said, we just concentrate on ourselves and let things flow. And, and happy to be playing again pretty soon. You know, no, no waiting around now, back into it. Yeah, definitely. It's always good to sometimes play the back-to-back -back games. Uh, we did have a five, six-day break, but which that did allow us to have some good practice as well in the nets and work on a few things. But like I said, we got a game in two days, and hopefully we can you know do the same thing. <clears throat> Adel, had someone done the maths at half time of how quickly you had to do that chase to get above Scotland? Um, there, was, there was talks about that, but we had to almost still be positive and play that. If we got into a position to do that, we knew we had to take it on, you know, to get the runs within the first, within five and a half overs. But we also knew that we can't just go out there and just slow. We've got to still be positive and, let, and play the way you do, and that's what happened. We played the way, and things just started unfold, and we got the runs within the first three, four overs. And is there, like, a feeling that you would say sums up how you, you feel after that, is it? relief? Is it to get underway? Is it just pride in the performance? What, what is no, we, it? We take each day as it comes. Like I say, it's another win. It's just a win. We, we know that we take it a game, game at a time. Uh, obviously, we're happy with the win and how we won today. It's, it's what we needed today as well, is, is to uh, ball them out cheaply and knock them off very quickly. But we, all, we also know it's just a win. We've got another game in a couple of days. We've got, to do this, we've got to do the same job there as well. And then each day, each game, take it a step at a time. <clears throat> Hi, Rash. Uh, what, what do we read into the team selection today? Is that the balance or the, the makeup of the side do we know that might be used in the Super 8s, or is it that just the team for today? I think that's just the team for the day. We, 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 know, we never look far ahead. We can't look at Super 8s or whatever it is down the line. We try to look at what is our next game. And then, obviously, the, the, the captain and coaches get together and, and they pick the team. So it's for the day. And for the next game, it'll be so on and whatever it is, so on. We never look too far ahead of this is the right bowling lineup for the Super A's or whatever. That's, that's down the line. We, we concentrate game at a time, step at a time, and, let, and make sure we put our performances in. Yeah, obviously, you finish with really nice bowling figures. Uh, how, how do you rate that? Obviously, the, the, the opposition <coughs> were a bit more modest than many you come up against. Yeah, it's always nice. It's always nice to get wickets three for four for whether it's against Oman or Australia or India. It's always nice to get them wickets. Um, but I thought myself, you know, I felt okay, I felt all right there. Just get a few wickets, spin the ball, Google these few leggies, whatever it is, mix it up. But the most pleasing thing was, I think, as, as a bowling unit, how we bowled with the seamers, each seamer, toppers, Joff, Woody, myself. We all, like you say, bowling really good partnerships as well. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Last one behind, George. Thank you. Well, before going into the match, did you ever think that uh, Oman, being an associate nation, you could pull them out for less than 50 or was What was going in England team's mind when you went for this match with NRR? Obviously, a question uh, you had under pressure to... I think first and foremost, our mind was to win the game. You know, if Picard is going to a game thinking we have to ball them out for 50 and then chase it down within three and a half overs. That just happened today. We, we won the toss. We knew if we stick to our way, stick to our strengths, seamers, spinners, be nice and positive, do your thing. Wickets came. And then wickets came, that's, that's when you, right, we've got a sniff here, let's try to go for the kill, which fortunately for ourselves worked. And then with the bat, it was, again, just be positive, be brave, take it on, 
then he set us up again to get the runs within four overs. So it's not planned before of, right, we need to ball them out for 50. You have to make sure first and foremost is you get a win. And then if you find yourself in the position, then you try to take the game on. Okay, we're done. Thank you, Adil.